Live. We'll see if anybody hops on here, kind of an impromptu thing. Been out here fishing today, got my other video film, got several fish, and so I thought, well, I got a little bit of daylight left. I got a little bit of 2021 left. We'll hop on here and see if we can knock out a final fish here for 2021. While I'm waiting for some people to hop on, I'm gonna go ahead and get my other bait switched out here. Hopefully some people will get on here shortly. This is one of them things I didn't announce, just kind of rolling with it. Didn't schedule it, didn't say nothing about social media. Whoever's got their subscriptions on and notifications on, they'll be the ones that knows that we're live right now. Get that bait on there. Drop it down. I'm gonna get this other bait on. If there's anybody actually watching, I'll chat with you here in just a second and I'll get this other bait switched out. I'll set up the live stream and then cut me a bait. Got some bait right there under me. If anybody that's watching, you can see there's a school of shad that I've kind of been just fishing around this afternoon and it's been a been a good day i got a nice fish got two good fish several bites i'm pretty happy with my final trip of 2021 here it's a good send-off it's been a great year it's a good way to end it with some big fish today but i'm gonna try to get another one or two here in front of a live audience before I call it quits and wrap it up. All right, let me get this camera switched back around here. We'll see if anybody's actually in here. Well, we got somebody in here for sure because we got a 9.99 for Matt Holacek. Says Happy New Year, and you know what else? Yeah. Holacek, he wants me to do the shout out for the troops. He always does. He's a former Marine and a current police officer. So shout out to all the troops out there. Everybody that's away from their house over the holidays and whatnot. Thank you for what you do. All the first responders, police officers, fire, healthcare workers, teachers, all of you in the public service industry. Thank you so much. Well, we got a bunch of people hopped on here. I didn't have hardly anybody up there and i started switching my baits out now lord now we got over 100 people in here just like that there's chunky cats bill coulter dale hayslip what's going on guys keith doc reed in the house there's ryan bortz catfish club member brian posey we got a where'd that one go there's keith doc reed he's been a member for two months he says, a big flatty would be awesome. Yeah, it sure would, Keith. It sure would. That's one thing I haven't caught today is a flathead. I've gotten some blues. got a couple, couple pretty good ones here, but uh, no flatheads today. Sunfish Assassin. There's George. There's my mom in the house. <laughs> we got a bunch of people. This chat box is scrolling here. There's Daniel Scott, 1999. He says, Happy New Year's. Well, thank you, Daniel. I appreciate that, man. That's nice of you. There's Cody Bogus, Nathan Ward, Brother Nature. There's Creole Catfishing, 999. Says, listen while I drive. Bone pesci, my friend. Well, you be careful driving now. Hearing my voice liable to put you to sleep and run you off the road. I don't want that to happen. <laughs> Thank you for that super chat, though, Creole. There's Chris Conger. Avery Sunderland says, I'm spending my birthday with you, Justin. Well, happy birthday, Avery. Hope it's a great day, man. There's Curtis Large, 499. Says, happy New Year's, man. Get a whopper. I'm going to try, buddy. We're just going to go live here till dark. I've finished up my trip here, filmed a, a regular video today, and I thought, you know, I got a little time left here, daylight. Let's just try to get the final fish of the year in front of a live studio audience here. <laughs> Nebraska Wildcats. 
Lori Jones is more entertaining than the Cincinnati Alabama game. Boy, ain't that the truth. I tell you something yesterday, or y'all, yesterday the weather here in East Tennessee was great. We've had some warm weather lately, but it's been pouring down rain and high winds damn near every day. Well, yesterday was perfect weather. And I went out and tried to catch some bait yesterday morning, but I thought, you know, I'm not going to go catfishing yesterday afternoon because I wanted to watch the Tennessee game. And what a screw job that was. I wish that I had gone fishing after setting through that crap. Purdue sucks. Every damn play is an injury timeout where they're trying to slow us down and then the ref screwed us at the end. I should have went fishing yesterday. But today, it's been dreary out here. It rained on me for a little while. But calm winds, it's been comfortable temperatures. It's been a good day. So enough of me whining about a Tennessee game there. I'll probably lost half my audience going on that tangent. Brian Posey says, want to go fishing, but decided to smoke some ribs instead. Well, you're going to be eating good tonight. Oh, oh, that little thump there. Oh, yeah, there he is. There he is on the live stream, y'all, or the live scope. He's after it right there. Let's see if he'll get it. He thumped it. He's right there by it. I actually think I got two of them right there. I do. There's two fish after that bait. Come on now. Eat that thing. Let's go ahead and get this live stream. Get a fish on this live stream. That nair's swimming off. He's, he's thought better of it. Just a tease, y'all. Just a tease. We didn't want to catch that fish no way, did we? Heck with that fish. I lost my spot there too. Doggone fish. Curtis Lars says, what's the temp there right now? Um, outside temp here is probably high 50s, maybe around 60 degrees. Uh, water temp's 54. Our water temp's have heated up with this warm weather and the rain that we've had lately. It's a couple degrees warmer than what it was last time I was out here. Mike Wheeler says, go Georgia, and the Vols got robbed last night. Boy, they did. Get me started on that crap. Still upset about that. There's Lake Sam Rayburn, crappie king in the house. That one friend says, can you say hello, Chip? And Happy New Year. Well, hello, Chip. There you go. Dylan Smith says, how's it going, Justin? Looks like a little storm in the background. It's just cloudy out here today. It drizzled a little while, rained a little while earlier, but nothing bad. There's fishing with Steve Mosley. Dom B in the house from Michigan. There's Chris Jones, been a member for three months. Thank you so much, Chris. I appreciate your support, buddy. Glad to have you. William Morris says, hey, Justin, how you doing today? And happy new year. I'm doing well, man. Hope you're doing, doing good too. Brett B says, how do you like your live scope? I like it, man. Uh, for catfishing, I don't find it that useful other than just being a little novelty thing. You know, when a fish comes up, I can uh, see it eat baits on the screen, but for everything else, for the bluegill and the crappie and the bass and stuff like that, it's been... It's been nice. So I've got that thing mounted now. Uh, it's, I had it in a temporary box to start. I've got it mounted on my kayak now. All the internals are inside the hatch, got the wire and run. So the only wire I have in the floor of the kayak now is just over here to the transducer. And I've got it beside me just so I can easily steer it. So it's gonna be sticking around. Well, I'm gonna scroll on down here cause I've missed a, I've missed a few more. There's Holacek says, member for three months, it says everyone smash that like button, hit the subscribe button, and get yourself a kayak catfish hat. I'm waiting for Sumo to sell that championship belt. Yep, but he hooked me up with a nice belt there, didn't he, Matt? I mean, that's Nature Boy Ric Flair quality belt he hooked me up with. That was pretty cool. 
Cody Bogus, $5, says Happy New Year to everybody. Hope everybody's 2022 fishing season will be a great one. Tight lines, everyone. Well, thank you so much, Cody. Hope you have a great year, too. Nathan Ward says, deep or shallow? I'm 39 feet right now. Uh, Nathan, I'm in a creek channel. Got a lot of bait around me, so that's, that's what I've been fishing around today. There's Catfish Club member Billy Daltrey. Says, Happy New Year's. Thanks for the memories. Keep it up. There's Brokeback Bob. Ray Leslie Ream says, How does a fella teach the better half to bait her own hook? Well, I'd set her in front of YouTube. That's probably a YouTube video teacher how to do it. <laughs> Got Calix Midnight said, you taught me and my dad how to fish her out. That's awesome, man. I'm glad you find this stuff helpful. There's Riley Taylor with $20. Thank you, Riley. Says, Happy New Year, my friend. It's a little rainy and mopey here in West Texas today, but hope the weather stays good on your end for fishing. Good luck and be safe. Well, thank you, Riley. Yeah, the weather out here today, it's been, been good overall. I'll take it get days like this here in December you gotta take advantage normally when it's warm around here in the winter the wind is hurricane force and that's how it's been this past week we've had some really warm weather but it's pouring down rain or 30 mile an hour winds you know ain't much I can do in that but I got out here today and took advantage I've had a good day there's Ian Brown Eddie, Damien, Fitzgerald, Richards. You got a lot of names, Eddie. My gosh. He says, hey, how do I become a member? Well, there's a link down in the video description there that'll take you to the Catfish Club. And I appreciate your interest in it, man. Dalton Carter says, Georgia or Michigan? Well, yeah, I'm a terrible gambler, but I do have a little money on Michigan plus seven and a half. So I, I don't know if Michigan wins, but I'm... I'm hoping they keep it within seven and a half. <laughs> Oaky Gene, the fishing machine, says, let's end the year with a golly whopper. I hope so, man. We're going to fish another, I don't know, 20, 30 minutes here till dark and see if one comes along. There's Victor Marino. Patrick Scott's out there in Alaska right now. And you a long ways from home. Or well, it may be your home. You a long ways from me. Let's put it like that. <laughs> we got another little something going on here. Right there by my back bait. He just hovering around it. That happens a lot, you know. They there you go, he's swimming off now. He come up and looked at it and thought better of it. Here comes some more of them shad in here. Right now, y'all, I've got that live scope. I've got it pointed toward, it's down here and that tape tells me which direction it's pointing. So I've got it going toward this rod. That's the front bait, which is right there. But when it's pointing this way, it also picks up the rod that's behind it, which is that bait, which is my biggest bait. And that's what I caught my, my biggest fish on today. Now this bait that's not in the live scope range is getting hit right now. He's swimming with that thing. We might we might get us one on the live stream here, y'all. We might not too, because I think he just let it go. He did. I didn't want to catch that. Heck with that. You don't want to catch all these fish, y'all. The ones that act like that, we don't want to fool with them. If they can't if they can't get the bait and the hook, we don't they're too stupid to be caught. There's Chuck Bender from Kansas. Sabrina Shelton says, been watching your videos for years and learned so much. Any advice on easy access bank fishing on the Tennessee River? I come down there to fish, but not familiar with many bank spots. Um, the best thing I can tell you, do is, is there's, there's a lot of public uh, bank fishing access at the dams. Uh, there's usually a lot of people fishing around boat ramps and stuff. So TWRA on their website has a list of uh, public boat launches. 
And so that's a good map. That's a good reference. It pulls them up there on the map with the addresses and all that. And so that's a good reference place to find some bank spots throughout Tennessee. And thanks for watching for so long, Sabrina. Grumpy old cat fisherman Raby says, don't get any better than this hauling the last load of the year and catching you live. Well, thank you for making me part of your day there. Dallas Sharps bought a Jackson Mayfly. Those are good kayaks. I think you'll like it. There's Chris with hooks and hammocks. Mike Wheeler says, need to fish the bait of choice from South Carolina. My bait of choice over there is in perch. We ain't got them here. Ninja, you ain't missed nothing. Not nothing yet, anyway. I just been live a few minutes now. Randall Allen just got back from the river and got some fun sizers. That's awesome, man. Curtis Large, I'm 39 feet. There's Marvin Mangum in the house. Stephen Roth says, Tennessee Vols, the real winners of the Music City Bowl. On another note, good luck and tight line. That's the truth. We ought to boycott that Music City Bowl because back in 2010, I was there for that one and the refs got us in too. Them refs always against us. There's Nathan Ward from Knoxville. Uh, Curtis for bait, I've got two head pieces on. They're the left side of the kayak and midsection's on the right. I got skipjack, that's the only bait I got with me today. Kevin Dorsey says, how much did the live scope setup cost? More than the kayak. <laughs> I bought it on a Black Friday sale, but still by the time you, you know, you buy the live scope and you, the, it came with the battery for free. Um, and then I got a $200 rebate. So I think I'm somewhere around $2,200 for, for everything on it, which is pretty, pretty expensive for what it is. Give it another five years, these things will be much cheaper. Outdoors with Caden. says, hey, Justin, I got a kayak for Christmas and it's a bit too small. Being six foot and weighing 216 pounds is hard on a kayak. Could you recommend a pedal drive kayak that I could use? I mean, at your height and weight, most of the pedal kayaks that Hobie and Old Town make will be will be fine for you. And Native, Native makes some good pedal kayaks too. Well, they'll support your height and weight easily. West B says, your videos are the best. Thank you, buddy. Rick Vanderveen from Holland. Holland in the house. Is it 2022 in Holland over there, Rick? I got to know. Are you in the same time zone as us? You could be ahead of us right now. David Mann says, thank you for all the informational videos. I've learned so much watching you. Well, thank you, David. Steve Mosley got skunked today. It happens, buddy. I'm hoping we don't get skunked on this live stream. I just thought I'd try to get me one more fish for 2021 and do it live here. So we'll see if one comes along here before dark. Dale Turney says, good luck. Bipper Bates. He made me some jigs a while back. They were excellent. He says, Justin, you should make a video about what makes a real moon pie. My girlfriend got me a moon pie gift box for Christmas and I am concerned I got knockoff moon pies. Need expert information. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if them knockoff moon pies would be any good. And them China moon pies probably don't taste the same as the ones made down there in, in, in Tennessee. The hills of Tennessee is where we got them moon pies, the original, the real thing. There's Myra. What's going on, Myra? James Reed, been watching for a long time. Average Joe, I'm on Watts Bar today. Let me skip on down here. There's Sabrina Shelton, $4.99. Thank you, Sabrina. It says, thank you so much for the advice. My birthday is tomorrow. What a great way to break in the new year, watching your videos and learning so much. Well, happy birthday early. I hope you have a great day tomorrow. Hope you have a great year. Brett Forsyth says, what kind of wireless mic are you using? Pros and cons. I've got a Rode Wireless Go here. Uh, the pros are it's, it's 
lightweight. Uh, audio is excellent on it. The cons are I had an issue. Two videos got messed up recently because I didn't have my settings right. Uh, I had it on uh, split when it should have been on merge, so it only played out the left side of people's speakers. That was a goof up. Uh, one video got ruined because the battery died. I didn't know the battery had died, and when that happens, your regular camera microphone doesn't take over for it. So uh, that's some that's some of the downfalls of it is it's uh, expensive, and you're probably going to lose some footage at some point. But when it works properly, it really helps. It gives you a lot better audio. I've had some more super chats come in there. There's one from Richard King, $20. He says, Happy New Year. Love your channel down here in Dunlap. I'd be on Nick and Jack if I wasn't working. Well, thank you so much, Richard. I hope you're able to get back out on the water again soon, buddy. Thank you for that. Here was another one from Hooks and Hammocks. There's Chris with $10. He says, One channel cat out of the Ohio today for us. Hope you have a much hope you have much better luck. Happy New Year. Well, thank you so much, Chris. I appreciate all your support this year, man. There's Joe Jellison with Chat Cats Fishing. Says, Happy New Year's, Justin. Looking forward to getting with you for a trip next year. I'm looking forward to it too, Joe. Y'all, uh, Joe Jellison there with Chat Cats, he's invited me down to fish with him here. So we're going to hopefully make that happen there in the spring or summer here and coming up in 2022. He's got a big channel, a big uh, YouTube channel there. Fishes down on Nickajack a lot. Guy in Wisconsin says, watching you for years, spooling my tip-ups right now. Well, I hope you get some, buddy. Thanks for watching. Stephen Roth, Catfish Club member, says, I'm thinking about the Bonafide SS-127. Seems to be very stable and not too badly priced. Will be a big upgrade from my ascend. Yeah, I haven't spent a lot of time in the Bonafide, uh, Stephen, but I did try one out back when they first come out, and it was a nice kayak. I mean, they're super stable. They got a ton of space in that front storage hatch. And so I think you'll like it. It will be a big upgrade from the Ascend that you've been using. There's Dustin C. He's been a member three months. It's Happy New Year. How you doing, Justin? Well, thank you so much, Dustin. I'm doing good, man. It's been a good day overall. We ain't got nothing on the live stream yet, but... I had a video filmed before I went live. Got a real nice blue, another fun sizer, and a few bites. So I've had a good day. There's Bud Brutus, 1999. He says, love the background as always, Justin. Good luck tonight. Well, thank you, Bud. I appreciate you stopping in here, and thank you for all your support this year. Bud's been a regular donor on my live streams for months. Nolan's Goldberger just got off work. Oh, Mike Wheeler, there he, he says, Rick from Holland said, New Year in 40 minutes. I thought that'd be in a different time zone. I don't know that I've had anybody from Holland watch the live streams before. I know they grow a lot of tulips over there. I think that's what they do over there in Holland. Let me skip on down here because whiskers, whiskers and hogs says, hello, my friend. Happy New Year. This is not much. Give me $9.99, man. That's plenty, man. I appreciate it, man. Every dollar adds up. Thank you so much. Philip Sons in the house. Stephen Key says, can we get a shout out for my son, Jacob Wilder? We watched all your videos from Red Bowling Springs, Tennessee. Well, absolutely. Jacob, there's your shout out, buddy. Thank you for watching. Hope you catch some monsters next year. Daryl Scott in the house. There's Green Machine. Says, Happy New Year's Eve. What's going on, Dan? Dan, I ain't looked at your boat tournament lately. You Are you dominating it like you have the catfish tournament? I'm sure you probably have. Dan whooped us all in the catfish tournament or the kayak tournaments this year. Now he's in a boat tournament too. We got Eddie, Damien, Fitzgerald, Richards. All four of his names has joined the Catfish Club tonight. Thank you so much, Eddie. Glad to have you, man. Appreciate the support. Raphael says, good fish, bye. Okay. Well, we'll see you next time, buddy. <laughs> he says, hi and bye. 
like we got 200 people watching that's that's pretty amazing to me i didn't know with this being kind of impromptu you know i didn't announce it didn't say nothing on social media i know the alabama game's on right now i hope they get beat somehow by a miracle it'll take cincinnati to beat them but i hope it happens so i didn't know if anybody would show up and watch this crap or not but we got a few people on Oh, there's Danny says catching hogs, baby. Snuck in the last minute lead last night with a 68 pounder. Wow. I know Dan, man. He he don't play around. He's gonna whoop some tail if he's in the tournament. There's Chris Jones, Catfish Club member. Says everyone have a happy New Year. Stay safe and have fun. Same to you, Chris. I'll probably be in bed tonight before midnight. I won't know it's New Year's till tomorrow. Dead Sea Pirates says, got you pulled up on the big screen watching with the family. Can you give my wife Nina a shout out? Today's her birthday. I sure will. We had a fish hitting that right there too, Nina. We was about to dedicate Nina a happy birthday fish. It almost happened. It's a tapping. Well, anyway, shout out to Nina, y'all. Tell her happy birthday. I hope I'm saying that right. It's hitting it again. I think I seen the daggone thing right there. Yeah, I, I've had some. Sh I've just been fishing around big school of shad all, all afternoon here. He's swimming off now. He don't want none of it. He said he he got plenty of fish down there. He don't need that one with the hook in it. Eddie Damien Fitzgerald Richards says, I'll change the length of my name so you can take a breath in between the words. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Farron Maston says, I know you would take us out of the old year with a live video. You're awesome. Yeah, man, I thought I'd try to at least get one fish live here to end the year with. I don't know if it'll happen or not, but we're going to try there's Keith Doc Reed, five dollars says maybe I can buy you a bite. Hey, we'll try it, man. I appreciate it. I appreciate your efforts anyway, Keith, even if it don't happen. <laughs> There's my man Keith Hensley. Says got the live alert while sitting here at Walmart waiting to pick up our grocery order. Happy New Year, everyone. Well, thank you for that super chat there, Keith. I got I got the girlfriend. She does the grocery shopping, but she's been using that Walmart pickup order too, and and she likes it. Just having them bring it out there to the car versus having to go in and shop. The less time I can spend in Walmart, the better. So I'm I'm glad they've started that kind of thing. Atlas Wax is always fun watching those fish on the live scope. It is. I spend a lot. I spend too much time looking at that screen and not enough time enjoying nature. I gotta, I gotta limit my screen time with this live scope. Jeffrey Lewis is just a happy new year. Love your show always. Well, thank you, Jeffrey. Jesus saves says keep it up, man. Love watching you catch them sumos. Well, thank you, buddy. I just keep seeing fish. You know they'll periodically just come into the screen here and sniff around at the bait. Sometimes they'll hit it. Sometimes they won't. And, I was hoping here right at dark we might get a little little bit more activity period and may or may not happen. <clears throat> Either way, we're gonna have a, a good send off here with a live stream to end 2021. It's been a great year for me overall. So I hope it has been for you all too. Michael Brown says, Happy New Year. Jordan Walter says, Good luck, Justin. My three-year-old Noah is a huge fan. Well, shout out to Noah. I hope he's watching right now. That's awesome that you let him watch. Charles Tipton says, Any luck today? I've had a good day overall, man. Nothing on the live stream yet, but it's been a good day. Half Century Catfishing says, Happy New Year. Roger Carpenter says, Have a great night. Happy New Year. Justin Brown, same thing. Got a lot of happy New Year's up in here. 
There's Penny in Kentucky. Jeremy Wilhite says he went out today and got skunked. Well, it happens to the best of us, buddy. Sue Weiss is going to be using that live scope eye fishing, ice fishing in a couple weeks in Iowa. Well, good luck with it. There's Carolina Catfish, $5. Says, Happy New Year. Can I get a shout out for Kinsey? Absolutely. Shout out, Kinsey. Thank you for that super chat there, too. Thank you so much. Oh, oh. We got one after it there. It may have it. Who was that next super chat? Who was the next one? That was going to be... Oh, it's Callie. K&K &K Fishing Adventures. Callie, this might be the last fish of 2021. I'm going to read your comment here in a minute. I'm going to reel in this fish first. Callie, it would be awesome if you got the last fish dedicated to you of 2021. And Callie has been so good to me this year from just the positivity, the super chat donations. I had a painting made for me of me and my dog when Roscoe died. Callie is just awesome. Callie's actually on vacation right now. I've seen some Instagram stuff in Santa Monica. And that fish right there, boy, it ain't much, Callie. That ain't a very big fish, but that one's for you. Just hop on off there, fish. You barely skin hook. There it goes. <laughs> well, we got one on the live stream, y'all. I hope, I hope we get one bigger than that to end the year on, though. That's a, that's a small fish to end things with. I got some more around my baits down there. I got them on the screen there. I, that, there's my bait that I just dropped back down. I spooked that fish. He started swimming off from it. We got some more stuff going on right over there by my, by my back bait there. Anyway, let's read that, let's read that there uh, super chat comment from Callie. It says, currently fishing on the Santa Monica Pier. Caught one little fish so far. Ocean fishing checked off bucket list. Figured I'd... Well, my screen's bouncing around. It says, figured I just had to stop by and donate. Happy New Year. Well, thank you so much, Callie. Again, thank you for everything. You have been awesome to me this year. I appreciate you so much, and I hope you're having a great trip out there. Looked like you were having a good time from the Instagram post that you made there. James Cardwell says, Happy New Year, Justin. Hadn't got to catch a live stream in a while because of work. Glad I can be back with everyone this evening. Well, glad to have you back, James. We got Tyler Lux says, My son, Case, and I are leaving 2021 on the San Marcos River watching your live stream. Well, I hope y'all catch some fish while you're out there. There's Bass Cat and David Mann. He says, what's the coldest temperature you'll stand to fish in? I hate being cold, man. Once it's, if it's in the 20s, I ain't on the water. 30s, maybe. But, uh, yeah, I don't like being cold either. Kayak Fishing says, Happy New Year, Justin. Me and my eight-year-old son Brody are sitting here watching. Well, shout out to Brody, buddy. Thank you for watching Milo MR says, what do you think? A 40-pound mono and 30-pound leader for bank fishing. I mean, it'll work. I use 40-pound mainline. I just use heavier leaders. Let me scroll on down. Boy, I missed some while I was fighting that fish there. What I got... Mountain fishing says happy new year. Catch a big one to end the year. I'm gonna try, buddy. Outdoors and opinions says, hey Justin, happy holidays. Love your videos. You've had a great year fishing, taught me so much. Well, thanks. JR Zap Zapata? Zapata? I don't know. I've butchered it, but thank you for the comment. West B says, why well, use a litter? Well, I don't know what you mean, but I can tell you why you use kitty litter. Because it clumps their pee in the poop, and it makes it easier to scoop out the box. That's why you use litter. Sean? Silly? 
I don't, Seely? I don't know. I don't know how to say it, Sean. So would love to see you and Kevin of Palmetto team up again. Happy New Year. It'll probably happen, Sean. I like Kevin. He's a good dude. We'll probably get together at some point and fish again. There's Brady Parrish. Wild Turkey SR. Oh, Wes B, so he, he meant leader, not litter. I guess he wasn't talking about kitty litter on here. Uh, you, you, well, you want to use a, a leader typically because of, uh, I'll tell you why, I mean, I do, just because the catfish's mouths are kind of abrasive. They've got like a sandpaper texture. I like a heavier leader. Uh, but that way because in the kayak here i'm i'm not using a net i'm grabbing these fish and so when i've got my hold of my line their mouth scraping back and forth across that line that leader there i want some abrasion resistance and so i like the heavier leader line for that now if you're using 40 50 pound line as it is well you don't necessarily have to have a leader but you know up to you up to you most people do use them though Negative Earth Records says, I'm still fishing vicariously through you. Happy New Year. Well, I hope you do it again in 2022, buddy, because I'm going to be cranking out the content again next year. There's Daryl Smith. Happy New Year, buddy. James Shuey in the house says, Catch me a whopper, Justin. Wishing you a happy new year. Still waiting to use my new catfish sumo rod and reel, but I absolutely love it. I hope you're able to use them soon there, buddy. You got a lot of fish to catch on them things. <laughs> Steve says, Justin, my friend gave me permission to share on how to catch shad in deep water during the winter. Are you interested? Lay it on me, man. Tell the world. You got 285 people watching right now that want to hear your secrets on how to catch shad in deep water in the winter. Lay it on us, buddy. There's Tim Hole, Catfish Club member. What's happening, man? Glad to have you. <clears throat> hey, there's Palmetto Cats. We were just talking about you, Kevin. They just want me to fish with you again, do some video stuff with you. Hope you're having a, hope you and Anna have a good celebration tonight. If y'all like me, you probably be in bed before midnight and won't even won't even be up for the party. <laughs> I'll probably watch that Georgia and Michigan game there when I get home and probably call it a night after that. <clears throat> Got some shad flipping out there now. Most of the shad I had seen earlier this afternoon were deep. They were down, you know, 38 to 40 feet here where I set up and I just spot locked here. I've been here since about 1.30 today, just catching fish periodically. It's not been a one after another. It's just kind of catch fish, wait a while, catch fish, but been getting some today. Palmetto says, shoot man, we're being old sitting on the couch. <laughs> That's the best place to celebrate, at home on the couch. That's my, my thoughts on it. I don't care nothing about going out and partying. Brett Castle said, how long are you fishing till tonight? Probably a few more minutes till it gets dark here. When it gets too dark to see, I'm going to take off. I ain't got my light with me tonight. There's Barry Black says, howdy, Justin. Howdy to you, Barry. Mr. Knoxville in the house. Mike D wants to know the largest fish I've caught. Uh, on a video titled, Holy Catfish, buddy. There's Chris Beeb. Or BB. Lake Sam Rayburn Crappie King says he's fishing in the morning. I think we might get some rain in, in the morning, possibly. I don't know if I'm going to get to go tomorrow or not. We'll see. I hope to go. I've got enough bait in the cooler. I went out this morning and caught some fresh skipjack, and so I've still got about half of it left from today. So if I can fish tomorrow, I will, but I don't know if I'll get to or not. Austin Smith in the house. Steve says, it is not mine. My friend tried all day. No luck. Okay. David Mann says, when making your leaders, do you tie or crimp them? I just tie them. I don't do the 
the crimps and crimps will work. I just never done it. Jordan Walter says my daughters got jealous. Their brother got a shout out. Happy New Year from Natalie, Nadia, and Noella. Well, there's your all shout outs. Natalie, Nadia, and Noella. I couldn't say that three times fast if I had to. <laughs> Casey Mitchell, Palmetto Cats, where are you from? He's from the Palmetto State, South Carolina. Up, oh, up, oh, had one get hit there. Just a tease. Just a tease. Scroll up there. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? There it is. Barry Black hit me with $5. Thank you, Barry. Appreciate that, man. Oh, Sean says, I mispronounced his name there. It wasn't silly. It's chili. My pronunciation was silly. Chili like a bowl of chili. Well, thanks for watching anyway, Sean, even if I did butcher your name. That's the hardest part of live streaming is getting people's names right. It's hard. Some of you's got some names that's tough to pronounce. There's Wayne Hoska in the house. J.R. Zapata says, you drink, Justin? I drink Pepsi and Coke. Well, no, I ain't, I ain't big on the alcohol. Never got into it. Tim Hulse has been missing your live chats. Just woke up from a nap, and there you are. <laughs> yeah, I ain't been doing a lot of live streams lately to... The demand just hasn't been there. You know, the last several live streams I've done just hasn't, haven't had a lot of people in the chat box, haven't gotten a lot of views after the fact. My channel as a whole isn't getting a lot of views right now. It's just time of year. You know, kayak fishing channels kind of take a hit this time of year, but once we get on into late March, early April, it'll, views will pick back up. I'll start being a lot more, a lot more proactive on doing live streams and regular videos and all that stuff too. Michael Jacobs says, how old are you? I am 39. Going to be hitting the big 40 this coming year. Half century. Catfishing says, Justin, you are in the top 10 best fishing shows online. You've really become a great teacher for catfishing. I hope you have another great year in 2022. Well, thanks. Where am I at in the top 10? Does that mean if I'm in the top 10, does that mean I'm number 10? Because if I was in the top eight, I'd probably be in the top eight. So I guess I'm number 10. There's, there's only nine more people better than me, y'all. I got nine people to climb over. I'm going to get there eventually. I'm going to keep plugging away at it until I make it a half century's top five. <laughs> Night Vision Jaco says, Justin, my four-year-old son and I have enjoyed your videos for a good year at least. Thank you for what you do, bro. Uh-oh. I hope I didn't accidentally time you out there. I hit the button. I didn't mean to. I hope I didn't mess you up there. He says, thank you for what you do. We really enjoy the channel. Well, thank you so much for watching. I think you're good. I think I was able to click off of it. I misclicked there. It happens. I fumble fingered it. Well, some foreigner here got, got hidden. Good thing they didn't want to shout out. I couldn't have pronounced their name anyway. There's some kind of Pakistani thing going on. Ted says, glad to see you, Justin. I love the content best ever. Well, thank you, Ted. I'm glad I'm number one on your list. <laughs> Steve says, the secret to catching these shads apparently duct tape. He says, lay the net, put in a circle on the ground, run the tape on both sides about one inch from the weights all the way around the net on both sides. I'm going to take your word for it, Steve. Best of luck with that duct tape and a net there. Mills Outdoors says, it's that time of year. We all slow down, yeah. I don't fish as much in the winter, just... You know, I don't like being cold and the weather you usually get more rain and stuff and, and winds and whatnot. So I don't typically fish as much. Vance 
Bennett says, you ever thought about doing striped bass fishing on cut bait? I, I catch some of them on cut bait. Daryl Smith says, I'm his top one. That's what I like to hear, Daryl. Justin Holder says, my boys and I enjoy watching your videos. Keep it up in 22. Well, thank you, Justin. I like your name. You got an awesome name there, Justin. Probably the best name ever. Michael Jacobs says, good for you, man. Keep it up, buddy. Well, thank you, Michael. Half Century says, I'm number three on his top 10 list. That's what I'm talking about. I moved up, I moved up seven spots just like that. Dustin C., I'm number one on his list. There's that damn fishing guy. What's going on, man? Tim Hall says, well, this old man sure does miss you on the live stream. We're going to be doing some more of them in the, in the coming year. I promise you that. Casey Mitchell says, how's the stability fishing out of a kayak? Does it take a learning curve? It just depends on the kayak. You know, every, every kayak's a little different, but the, the two kayaks that I currently have are very stable. Let me see. Boy, I missed a bunch of them there. Boy, these things are coming fast. Mills Outdoors says, congrats on all your success. I've been watching for a long time. Thank you. Wild Turkey says, with all the work you put in, you should be number one by the end of 2022. Well, I hope so. We'll see you later, Mike Wheeler. Philip Thomas says, I look forward to seeing you each time you go live. Well, thank you, Philip. Juan Miguel in the house. There's David Weir. Oh. I had one getting hit there. I don't know if you can hear that. I hear a bald eagle up in them trees. He's back after it again. I guess he's done with it then. Let me see there. Where'd it go? I missed some. I just keep taking my finger off the screen and the thing moves on me. Let me scroll on down. Joe Murray says, I see you mounted the new device on the kayak. Yeah. Yeah, it's going to be sticking around. So I got it permanently mounted. This warm weather we've had while it's been pouring down rain. I've been out there into the carport working on some stuff. There's Nate Strunk said, enjoyed this year with you and fishing. Have a great year. Thank you, Nate. Brian Lynch. Been catching more fish since since finding me. I'm glad it glad it's working out for you, Brian. I'm number one on Zachary Welch's list too. That's what I'm talking about. There's who Jr. Grave 420 says, "Hey, what's up? Been at work? Called any? Hope your New Year's Eve is awesome. Thank you, buddy. Oh, we got one on the live stream, and I got a few others this afternoon before I went live." There's Sean Heath with $5 Super Chat there. Thank you, Sean. Thanks for supporting the channel, man. Justin says, I'm number one in the kayak all the way. Cool's Cat Fishing says, how late you fishing tonight? Probably another five minutes or so, buddy. It's getting dark on me here. I ain't got my light. There's the Upstate Angler. Whiskey Flyers have been fun watching you with your country accent and those hogs you catch. See you next year. <laughs> oh, thank you, buddy. David Clark says, I desperately need advice on when the best time to catch skipjack. Well, they biting year-round, buddy. They're in the backwaters right now. That's where I've been getting them. Farron said, sorry, Kevin, but Justin's number one with me, too. <laughs> There's Nikki Hayes in the house. What's going on, Nikki? Cool's cat, so he just heading out. Well, good luck tonight, man. Brooks Damron says, catfish and carp, creek fishing, and you are my favorites. That's awesome, man. I'm, I'm in good company if I'm up there with catfish and carp. He's the most successful YouTube cat fisherman of all time. Rebel 217 Rebel Outdoors in the house. 
cool cats as they're running at Watts Bar Dam, you can get some fishing on the lock side off the walkway. Well, there you go. The fella is asking about the skipjack. There you go. That's some good intel. There's Keith. He says, hey, Justin, do you know of a place in our area that sells good used fishing equipment? No, Keith, I don't know anybody, any shops or anything that sells used gear. Um, but I'll tell you what, though, Keith, people's always got stuff for sale on Facebook. There's some Facebook groups in our area, um, used fishing gear and stuff. That'd probably be uh, probably your best bet to find, you know, find some good quality stuff. Aaron Pence in the house. There's Ted says, I look forward to seeing you. After a day at my job, it's relaxing to go fishing with you. He's got his friends watching me also. Well, thank you, Ted. Thanks for sharing the videos and stuff. Rustic Outdoors got on some big skipjack. Mark Williams says, good type of kayak for a beginner. The best one that you can buy. Get the best quality kayak you can afford. That's, that's the best advice I can give you. Try to avoid the big box store stuff. John Guffey. Upstate Angler says, Happy New Year. I hope it's coming years a golly whopper. I hope so too, man. Hey, there's fishing with Big Mike. What's going on, Mike? I'm about to wrap up a stream here. I hope you're getting ready to get started, Big Mike. I, I looked at your bank fishing tournament. And seeing that you're sitting in third place, looks like you're going to cash a check unless somebody knocks you out here in the final hours. I hope it happens for you, man. I hope you, I hope you catch them tonight and take the lead and win that daggone thing. Uh, how's the bite, uh, Big Mike? It's been okay today, sporadic. But I, I did get a, a really good fish earlier and uh, just some more intermittent bites in between. I got on the water day about 1.30, and so it's, it's been a good day overall. The, I ain't, well, we've been live for 52 minutes here. I only got but one fish during the live stream, but it's been a good day overall. Wild Turkey says, pawn shops are good places to find used fishing gear. Yeah, the meth heads go steal stuff off people's garages and, and carports and stuff and go down there at pawn shops. You can get some good deals. Josh Black says, nice to see you enjoying the water. Daryl Smith says, Justin, tell your parents Happy New Year from us all. Well, Daryl, you can tell them your damn self because they're watching right now. <laughs> My mom was in the chat box here earlier. They, I sent them. A, I sent my mom a text before I went live. Said I'm about to go live. So she tuning in, watching. Sarah Pruitt said, "You're by far number one in kayak catfishing." Well, thank you, Sarah. Josh Black says, "I'm a legend." Eric Roby says, Happy New Year. Love your channel. Been watching since you started. Always good content. Well, thank you, Eric. Thanks for sticking with me so long. Logan Jordan says, Any advice on shallow water blues in the winter? Truman Lake is mostly shallow bank access. Yeah, man. You get on them, you get on them warm, sunny days in the winter, get the bait moving up in there, you'll catch some fish in the shallows. They'll move up after that bait. Jordan says, my wife, Nicole, said, why buy Christmas presents? The kids were more excited for their shout out than the presents. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> See, Jordan, I'm saving y'all money. <laughs> well, happy new year to you too, Big Mike. I hope 2022 is a good year for you, my man. David Weir says, I'm the goat. Thank you, buddy. Python says, can't say you're not social distancing on New Year's Eve. Boy, that's the truth. I've seen about two boats out here today. It's been a good day. There's Jim No from Taswell in the house. What's going on, Jim? 
Sean Chili said, how did your dad react to feeding that big blue the fish head? He liked it, man. He'd been waiting on me to do that for a long time. <laughs> well, guys, I can barely see myself in the screen there because it's getting dark. So I think we're going to wrap it up and I'm going to reel these lines up and start to head toward the house. But listen, I just want to say thank you. you know, all of you that have watched in 2021 and before, all of you in my live stream audience have been so supportive of me financially, all my Catfish Club members. Thank you so much for what you have done. This year has been just a phenomenal year for me. Other than my dog dying, it's been a great year. One of the best years of my life. I've had so much fun this year and getting to do this YouTube thing full time. It's just been, it's been absolutely incredible for me. And I'm looking forward to 2022. It's been a, just been a great year. I know next year is going to be great. And I hope it's a, a great year for all of you as well. So again, shout out to everybody out there who's, stuck away from home on the holidays all you truck drivers military uh health workers you know if you're if you're stuck away from home on the holidays away from your loved ones i i appreciate what you do and i hope you're able to get some time with the family again soon because that's what it's all about you know we gotta it's, it's easy to get distracted in this world with all the negativity i'm as guilty of it as anybody but but your health and your family is what's most important. And I hope 2022 is filled with a lot of time for you to enjoy what's most important for you. So we got a couple super chats coming in there. There it is, one of them anyway. Fracture Fix 1999 says, Happy New Year. Thank you so much, Fracture Fix. He's been another one. It's been a, a big supporter of my channel this year. Thank you for that super chat there. And I've missed a bunch of comments while I was rambling on, but... It is dark out here, guys. I don't have my light with me, so uh, not gonna be, we're not going to be fishing here after dark. There's Fizz Bang with $5. It says, Happy New Year. Thank you, Fizz Bang. Fizz Bang always comes in at the end there with the Super Chat, right, as we're wrapping things up. But uh, anyway, guys, I'm going to get off here. Y'all be safe if you're out partying tonight, and we'll do it again here in 2022. See you soon.